Hi, I'm Sherry McGill, and you're watching Lessons Learned. Hi, welcome back to Finish It Friday. Hope you had a great week. I had a pretty productive week here in the She Shed, and I just wanted to share some things that I got finished or, or somewhat finished or decided upon or whatever and uh, the first thing I'm pretty proud to say that I got done was totally tulips the flimsy is done that means I have all my borders on yay I think it looks good I probably should have spread it out on the wall so you could see but uh, I'm liking what I chose for that and I got good response from you all too on it. So um, that goes into my to be quilted pile. And let's see, another thing that I got done was the table runner, the juicy table runner. Uh, there's a whole video on how to make that. It's actually a tutorial, and the pattern and fabric requirements are in the description box if you would like to make one i just made that pattern up it's not hard <laughs> but uh yeah i just got some um a charm pack out and some fat eights and just kind of whipped something up last friday i was kind of in the mood to do something just off the wall and not really in the plan but uh it turned out really cute so I turned that into a tutorial and you can make yourself one too. And then also I found some fabric for, remember this bee flimsy that I had done, the bear paw. I found a 108 back for it. I'm going to put that on the back. This is the Blank Quilting Corporation. It's a 108 got that from so yeah I think it'll go great for the back of this so no more wondering what I'm gonna put on the back got that settled and also from so yeah in that package I had gotten a little I think this is a fat quarter bundle just something I couldn't resist. I thought I'd share it with you too. I want to get all these little stickers in the trash before they wind up somewhere else. This is a, um, it's either called Safari or Serengeti. I forget, but I want to stretch these out and show them to you. They're so interesting. I just had to have them. Who knows what I'll do with them. Okay, it's called Migration. Migration by Lorraine Turner for Free Spirit. Wildebeest in Motion is what this one is. I'm going to spread them out because they're so cute. Wildebeest in Motion. Aren't they pretty? And then let's see what else. Here we have some birds. This one's called Siberian Cranes. Get that a little closer so you can see them. Cranes, Siberian cranes. Siberian cranes migrate, I guess. Wildebeest migrate. I think this is why I thought it was Serengeti because it just reminded me of, of it. Now, I don't know what this one's called. It doesn't have a selvage, but I liked it. It's pretty. Now, if you look close, you can see all the animals on there that migrate. There's um, butterflies. Uh, see the wildebeest again. Turtles. Uh, moose or elk or something. Whales. Penguins. Yeah. I thought it was interesting. And one more piece in that line. This one also doesn't have a selvage with the name on it. And it kind of looks like feathers and or 
uh, tracks, like animal tracks. Not sure. It has a pretty aesthetic to it also. So I got that to add to my stash. And then that's all I've gotten from So Yeah. Now I have I did get something in yesterday. No, that was it. That's the one I got yesterday. I have one coming. Um that I got this week and it's already been shipped out and it'll be here probably in a couple days but uh, how are you getting along with the sew along um, it's coming together we got four blocks this week is gonna make five so we're gonna be past the halfway mark I have not gotten mine put together yet for next week which is what I have been doing but the color is purple lavender any shade of purple that you like kind of like in the grape family not so much in the pinky purple so if you, uh, my idea was lavender and um, I had some true lavenders but they kind of blended in with that blue background that blue background I don't think has been the greatest idea for what I was thinking I kind of wished I would have went with just almost like a muslin or something like that something really vintagey looking but uh, this I needed a little more contrast so I went a little darker on it so purple do your purple block this week and I gotta get mine done today and then let's see I had three emails uh, one is from Ann Hines, and she's got a finished flimsy here that's really pretty. She says, a flapjack quilt. Here it is right here. Free pattern from Fat Quarter Shop, made with Sister Bay fabric line from Three Sisters. She says, I had to get this fabric because Sister Bay is in Wisconsin, and so am I. And my daughter is going there for her bachelorette party. So she's got a flimsy done there. It's pretty. I love the blue shades. Really classy looking prints. That's going to make a beautiful quilt uh, when it's all quilted up. But it sure is pretty as it is as well. Very, very nice job. I love it. Now, Sandra, you sent me a email and somehow I don't have the pictures anymore. I don't know if how you sent it that that expires over a certain amount of time or what but I did see the pictures and it was the the summer sew along the windmill garden and um, I think you're the one that did the bright colors and I really liked it. Um, so send me that again maybe I can capture the pictures some other way and keep them to be able to show them next week and you can include your purple one too but um yeah I want to share those I uh, went on my iPad here to see if I could get it off of Instagram but I haven't set up the lessons learnt quilts Instagram on my iPad so it's on my phone which is filming me right now so I can't very well effectively at least I don't know how to share that from Instagram on my phone while I'm filming myself so if you could just send it again <laughs> sorry I didn't I didn't know the pictures expired or it's possible that I just deleted the pictures somehow so sorry about that but we want to see them again please and then I got another one from a viewer I'm not sure of her name she didn't put her name but she uh, sent some beautiful pictures of two projects uh, a quilt I like a churn dash quilt and also a sewing machine cover and I think they're out of the same yeah they're out of the same fabric but I wanted to mention something about this because um, first of all I want to see what she says it says finished low volume quilt and dust cover for my sewing machine with leftover fabric here it is three yard quilt pattern 
plus extra from Fabric Cafe called Modern Charm. So if you like that, I like that um, fabric. Uh, fabric Cafe from Cabric, Fabric Cafe called Modern Charm. And I saw the video from the sewing channel. Not the sewing channel. Is it the, the sewing room? That British lady. I forget her name. But anyway, uh, this is where she got that pattern. This is where um, this viewer got that idea from. And I had watched that too. And I was like, I want to make one of those. I want to make one of those for my Janome back here. Because I don't use it all the time like I do the baby lock. So it needs a dust cover. Um, so I'm thinking about using that same uh, pattern too to do it. Because it, it's just really super easy. The quilt is gorgeous. I love the backing on it too. It coordinates with the churn dashes. Thank you for sending that in. So this is going to be a short one today. Um, I'll show you one more thing. Now I'm making your video on this. It's not a tutorial, but it is my experience making this wall hanging. And I'm half done with the quilting. So you can kind of see there what it looks like. So I think I showed that to you on Monday that somebody had commissioned me to do that. This wall hanging and I've got my lines on half of it. I need to do the other half. But it's turning out good, I think. Now if you compared it side by side to that picture they sent, you might say, mm, I don't know if you got that right or not, but if you don't look at the picture, it looks good. <laughs> and uh, my workmanship, I'm kind of proud of. I'm, I've done nice with it. No major errors or anything that I've had to fix or anything like that. So um, look for a video on that next week, too. Um, just, um, I don't know probably won't be very long and and I'll just kind of take you through my whole whole process of making I'm not done yet so I'm not done with the the film clips that I need so look for that next week okay well have a great weekend and this is a holiday weekend right Monday is July the 4th so enjoy your long weekend and um, if you have some time Find a few minutes to sew. Keep going on your projects. All right, I'll see you on Monday. Bye. Bye.